Got it pretty much on there. You can see here. It's a very clean install. We scrape all the excess of around the area. You do want to create a little bit of a surface bond uh, just below it. That way it protects as well. It has a good grip on it. So there we go. It's a nice little sort of like an eyelid looking like. But I think it looks pretty nice. And it's a dark gray, it, even though it looks a little bit darker on the camera, but it's actually sort of a, like a dark gray color. When it dries, it'll probably show its true color more. And there's cure time on it, pretty much is set time is about four to six hours. It's cure time takes 15 to 24 hours, dark gray color. So that's it, six dollars. Pretty much we just fixed our own problem. It took us a good, you know, half an hour to shape it the way we wanted to. Everything prepped and everything set. And I wasn't going to let, let you guys wait on that. So... Now we're going to go ahead and put it aside here, keep it uh, protected until we actually work on it. I probably got a better idea, just kind of squeeze it in there that way no one bothers it. So let me go ahead and try to tuck it into here, move this out of the way. Put the whole case in that area there. And then uh, within 24 hours we'll come back and we'll take a look at it and see uh, how it hardens and everything like that. And then we can go ahead and work on our cylinder head. So let me go ahead and start lifting it and putting it in here. Okay, it's pretty nice. Happy with the results. Right, we want to make sure it actually holds up to the actual test. Okay, let me get the camera here. Okay, I'm just going to store it in the lower shelf here. Protect it from uh, anything that might come in contact with it. I just let cure in there. We're gonna pretty much set it in the same position as we found it. It'll be okay because it's kind of stiffening up a little bit already, so it's not dripping. Okay, we're gonna go and put our whole engine in there. Like pretty much, see there it goes again. We're gonna go and put our whole engine in there. Pinch any wires. Slide it. Slide it in there. Feels not going to go anymore because again we have all our other stuff in there. So it's back there, protect it. As you can see here. Right there. So we're just going to let it cure here for about 24 hours. And then we'll bring it out to finish it up. So that's pretty much how you use JB Weld on your aluminum crankcase on a GY6. And then we'll bring it out within 24 hours. So you'll be able to see how it actually uh, tacks in there. Okay. All right. That's a wrap for this one. Short, brief introduction of JB Weld onto the crankcase. Brought to you by NCY Store.